Hey leaders, happy new year, Daniel Harkavy here. I'm recording this just two weeks into January and uh, I've got a message for you that is the result of the conversations I've had just since we all came back to work after the holiday. Uh, I've been uh, on Zoom meetings, uh, on the phone with CEOs and leaders of organizations in all industries, not just, not just here domestically, but internationally. And what I'm hearing is very much the same thing. You know, so many of us as leaders and those that we get to serve came into 2022 with some pretty high hopes. We thought we were going to have more normalcy in our routines. We thought we were going to benefit from being together more than maybe some of you are experiencing. Just today, I was with a, more than 100 who were supposed to be live together in Arizona. Last week, their plans changed and they had to go virtual this week. The Building Champions team has been working with another group that was supposed to be live this week in Arizona, both, interesting. They were gonna have a few hundred of them together and on the same day last week, they had to, they had to make the shift. They wanted to be responsible and, and they went virtual. And uh, I, I just think that takes its toll on us. So as I've been talking to leaders and just asking them what the return has been like, what I'm hearing is, that their conversations have been really all about encouraging. One, one CEO just uh, yesterday said his one-on-ones have been just having to buck people up, meaning just encourage them to, to go because it's kind of a Groundhog's Day experience. So what I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to be mindful of your own routine, your own emotions. We're humans. But what is it that we can do to better lead ourselves from a thinking, belief, and feeling perspective so that when we engage in the conversations with our teammates, they're feeling some real genuine optimism and hope. And they need that. And that's part of leadership. We need to be able to absolutely acknowledge the letdown and the disappointment and the frustration of today and, and how this impacts not just our organization, but all of those that might be impacting our own supply chain, our partners and our vendors that aren't able to deliver like we had thought and the delays and the customer challenges and all of it, we have to acknowledge that it's difficult. But then we have to camp on our vision and we need to see that we're gonna get through this. This is a season and great business leaders look at their businesses in these 10 year windows, 10 years. And uh, yeah, this one's been a doozy the last couple of years, but we, lean, we leaders need to be really focused on what we see in the future. So we need to be all in, like all in the game, stay in the game, fully press in. How do you do that? I just want to see the first 90 minutes of your day. You show me the first 90 minutes of your day. And I think that for some of you is where you have an opportunity to bolster your energy by improving your thinking, your belief, and your feelings so that you engage with people and relationships. And then you choose the right actions because you're thinking more clearly. So the first 90 minutes of your day, I know this is a huge ask. What are you putting in your mind? Your mind. What's your pace like? Are you allowing any noise in right when you wake up? Or do you have a routine that enables your thinking to be clear, your belief to be hopeful and optimistic, your energy to be good, for you to have a calm, confident presence so that you are making great decisions and your influence is just peak. It's that morning routine. Some of you might benefit from our simple focus plan. It's the one page plan that there's all sorts of neuroscience behind why it works. You attend to what matters most, you inhibit the noise, and then you review it daily so you have that system for working memory. If you want that plan, fill it out for Q1. I've got a QR code right here. You can go ahead and download it and just fill it out for Q1, your goals, your disciplines, your theme, and your improvements. Review it every day, and I am confident that you will be more effective in the quarter ahead and then leading into Q2 if you use it. So as I like to say, hey, leaders, flip switches up on the heart to everybody around you. Everybody needs some bright light right now, and that's what we get to do as leaders. If there's anything we can do to help you, please reach out to the Building Champions team. And if you're already our clients, just thank you for allowing us to be on this journey with you. Together, we're going to get through it. Make a great difference. Flip switches up. Bye-bye.